Welcome to A Vapor's Journey, Episode 1. A little backstory. My name's Jason Hughes. I'm here at Xavier Penguin Studios, now sponsored by Move to Vapor. Wanted to talk about what got me into vaping and the effects that it's had on me, my family, and my life. I started off as a cigar smoker. Most people coming to the vaping culture are coming from cigarettes. They never, never really appealed to me. My interest was in uh, having something that was kind of a prestige item, something that, you know, as I'm walking and I'm, you know, dressed to the nines and trying to look all spiffy, I got this, you know, big honking cigar because what do you think of when you think of a cigar besides, you know, nasty tobacco product? Usually somebody that's well-to-do, somebody that's got a little class, somebody that's got a, you know, presence that's above and beyond. And that's what I was looking for. Uh, I didn't actually care too much for the tobacco aspect. I didn't care. Uh, I had favored the Rocky Patels, Excaliburs, Monte Cristos, you, you know, all the high dollar stuff that I probably couldn't have afforded to have been smoking in the first place. And uh, that was something that I had started in my late 20s. Right about the time I was 30, 31, I started working for a company here in St. Louis and ran across a guy who had this little goofball electronic cigarette. And I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, why? And he goes, oh, well, you know, I'm just trying to kick the habit. You know, I'm still getting my nicotine. I'm enjoying the, you know, flavor of it. It's, it's a good way to go. It's a nice alternative. And he showed me this device that he had picked up from, guess where? Move to Vapor. So I had asked him, okay, well, tell me about this thing. What is it? He goes, well, this, this little piece here, this is a battery. This is a cartomizer. Yes, this was back in the day before there was, you know, a huge array of tanks and accessories and batteries of different this, that, and the other. This was a very cigarette analog device. And it kind of stuck with me. As time progressed, I, I hadn't quite jumped and made the switch. I was just like, huh, oh, that's kind of a cool thing to keep in mind. And me and the missus started talking about wanting to have kids. I mean, we were getting up in age, and if we were going to do it, we need to get on the stick and do it. And I said, yes, I'm, I'm interested. Let's do this. You know, baby, right? Big, you know, thrill of the whole really growing up and being responsible for somebody else. And the missus looks at me, and she goes, yeah, but you're done with cigars. I go, what? She goes, you're not going to smoke those around the kid. We're not going to be getting in a car that smells like cigars. I already hate the things anyway. Why do you think I make you smoke outside? And I went, huh, how the heck am I going to attain my personal goals of having something kind of cool to smoke on? Something that, you know, isn't every day, that everybody doesn't have it. Uh, how am I going to maintain that air? Where am I going to get that occasional little nicotine fix that I want? popped in my head. I'm going to go and visit the guys that moved to Vapor. But before I did, I went online, did some reading, found out that, yes, you can get your nicotine, you're not burning vegetable matter, you know, there's there's really no more significant harm, at least per the websites that I was reading, that there was no more significant harm than caffeine. Okay. Caffeine has a similar effect as nicotine, being is that it raises your heart rate just a touch, increases your blood pressure. I was like, okay, okay, I could do this. So what ended up happening is after I researched Blue and some of the other, you know, companies that were really just coming into their own, I decided, yeah, that it's happening. I want to get this thing in my hand. I want to touch it. I don't want to order online and then get something that I'm going to be real unhappy with. I go down to Move to Vapor. I meet a man by the name of Harry Kohler. And Harry... He's not just my boss, he's a client. Harry has his own story to tell, and hopefully I can get him on camera and get him to tell us all about it. But here's a guy, older guy, definitely had some respiratory problems as a result of smoking. This cat is going to know whether or not this is going to impact me. And we just went on about our discussion of, you know, this is a battery, this is a cartomizer, this is e-juice, this is how you fill, this is how you refit your device and maintain. And I, I was just wowed. I'm a techie guy anyway. I like neat and shiny. I like toys. I've got computers. I've got laptops. I've got tablets. I've got all that. And this fit right in with my persona, with who I am as an individual. I was sold. I haven't looked back. I don't miss tobacco. Have I had a cigar since? Sure. Did I go out and buy it? No. It was one of those gimme kind of things. But I myself don't feel the need for tobacco. I've got everything that 
I wanted with the tobacco. I've got my nicotine. I've got my hand to mouth, you know, little thing going on. I've got, you know, neat and shiny device. I've got a conversation starter. I'm out and about. People see this thing. They're like, hey, is that one of those electronic cigarettes? Yeah, absolutely it is. Here, let me tell you all about it. Time progressed. I started working for Move to Vapor. An opportunity came up as Harry was expanding his store, expanding his customer, customer base and all that. And he goes, hey, Jason, you know, you're in here quite a bit. You seem to be a pretty knowledgeable guy. I'd really like you working with my guys on the help desk. Yes. Mission complete. I've come full circle. I'm completely away from tobacco, and I'm helping other people get off tobacco. I don't take retail jobs. I'm a tech. That's what I do. I had the opportunity to do more than just sling, you know, sling hardware out of, you know, a little brick and mortar or a kiosk or what have you. Here's your equipment. Have a nice day. Didn't do that. I got to sit down, talk with people, explain to them how I came away from tobacco, what the benefits of this could be from cost savings to health savings, everything about it. And Harry turned us all loose to go do that. As I became a vapor and I was turning other people on to the whole vaping thing, I've ended up with friends who are now in the business. I've ended up with friends that have turned on other friends who have turned on other friends who have turned on other friends. And it's just been an incredibly powerful and positive experience. That said, now's where it gets a little more personal than personal. And, you know, in retrospect, I don't know how much of this story I should be telling. But we had a very close call in the family. My stepfather, who's basically taken care of me since the age of 9 or 10, I think I was 10 finally when I was reunited with my mother, uh, he had a conference with his doctor. And his doctor told him, listen, I need to stop smoking. I'm not even playing with you. I don't do scare tactics. It's not who I am. It's not how I run my practice. But I kid you not. Stop smoking or you are in the grave in 30 days. What? How? I don't understand this. Well, we're talking about a guy who'd had, you know, respiratory problems, guys who'd had circulatory problems, and I won't go into the grand details, but yeah, it made perfect sense when it was laid out. My mother calls me, distraught, crying, freaking out, and... She's like, I don't know how to get him to stop. He's been smoking since he was 12. He's a pack and a half a day smoker. How do you get somebody to stop doing that? This was on the day before my birthday when I was 33. The day of my birthday, I'd taken off work. Got in the car, steamed up to my folks, got them all in the car under the guise of, hey, let's go out to my birthday dinner. And I brought him to move to vapor. My stepdad, I am happy to say, sat down, didn't talk to me because he wouldn't get to listen to me. I mean, that's just how family is. You can have the best intentions in the world. Sometimes it takes somebody from the outside to really drive the point home. Harry sat down with my stepdad, told him all about vaping, told him all about the equipment, put one in his hand while they're having this conversation, and kind of somewhere in the middle of his little, you know, new guy speech, he goes, so tell me. Do you want to go out and have a cigarette right now? The old man kind of like blinks for a minute and goes, No, I don't. So what ends up happening is he makes the switch. He changes brands, as Harry likes to say, and hasn't looked back. Maybe he's had a smoke or two. I don't know. But through all the juice that we've gotten together, through all the equipment that we've traded, I'm pretty secure in the fact that my stepdad is going to be around with us for a very long time. I owe that to vaping. Now, big disclaimer, because of the way the FDA views vaping, I can only tell you about our experience. I can't say with any definitive, this is proof positive that vaping is good for you. God's honest truth, as far as the FDA, FDA is concerned, there's not enough testing. Maybe there's not. I mean, who would have told the ancient whoever's that were lining their aqueducts with lead that lead would kill them eventually. Well, there you go. I mean, there are still some things we don't know about this. But given 
you're done in 30 days versus here I am about to be 36 years old and I still got my stepdad with me. I mean, the, the result is pretty obvious. So that's kind of step one. That's where I am. Uh, ever since I've been a vapor who enjoys what he does, I enjoy playing with flavors, I like talking to people about this, and nothing gets a conversation started like a big honkin' metal PV or my new favorite mod, and, you know, people, hey, what is that? Is that one of those electronic cigarette things? Well, kind of, sort of, yeah. It's, you know, not the average dude's equipment. It's not newbie gear. But yeah, I mean, I still use my newbie gear. You know what? Hey, I actually happen to have something here. Let me hand that off to you. And that's just been the absolute coolest experience of my life, helping somebody with a product that is going to change their life. And I, my ardent desire, my wish, my hope for all these stores that are out there is that they're coming from a good place, that they're seeing their business not just as a way to make money to put bread on their table, but as a way to help people. Harry said something to me once that really struck home. And he told me, take care of people. Put them first. Money will take care of itself. And I really feel that if every store operated from that concept, that we'd all be in a much better place. People need to get off tobacco. People need to live a healthier life. Here's the alternative. And that's been my entire experience thus far. I've met some great folks. I've played with some great gear. And here I am talking to you about it. And hopefully this isn't the last time we have this conversation. Maybe not so in-depth and personal, maybe a little more light and fun. I know I've really brought the tone down, but hopefully in the next few videos we can have a little more fun, talk a little bit more about vaping and gear, and we can take the next step of the journey together. This is Jason on a Vapor's Journey. Thanks.